again, Dr. Paulino, this is an absolute home game for you, my friend. So please, would you like to say a few words? Uh, first of all, this is just a cafetorium. It's not a cafetorium. <laughs> uh, there is a gym upstairs, so we don't, there's no bad people in here, so I just wanted to correct that. Um, first of all, I, I want to recognize some people from the school district are here. Uh, there's a lot of my board members here. Mrs. Maureen Bowers is here. Our board president, Matthew McCoy, is here. Our board re vice president, Nora Shear, is here. And our, another board member, Jim Shaughnessy, is here as well as our uh, assistant superintendent for business, Alan Olson is here, our uh, head of buildings and grounds, Mr. Tom Clapper in the back I see, our assistant principal at the high school, Danielle Tripoto, and Anna Brett serves two things here. She's a principal in our school district at Zene Elementary, which she stepped in to help me out with, and also a member of the Board of Trustees for SUNY Olson. That's so. shared services. That is, that is <laughs> shared services. Are you picking up? <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that, is that so thank you and welcome to Sophie Finn School. Uh, I think the county executive and President Cotter said a lot of things I understand, but one of the things I want to focus on is the fact that this is a huge and limitless opportunity for the students of the Kingston City School District. We talk a lot about the college students and I think that access to college education right here in the city of Kingston is, is a game changer. But what, I, what I'm really looking at and what you, a lot of you read in the paper and hear about is early college. Early college for our high school students and what the, President Cott and I have seen looking at this possibility, knowing that we look out this back window and see Kingston High School, and they look here and see and see Sophie uh, Finn, now SUNY Ulster. We've already got our foot, you know, in the door. People are talking about it now, but we've already talked about it. We're ready to do it. We're ready to look to that vision where in the future, and, and I think my vision is in 2015, students from Kingston High School will walk across the stage and I will put a Kingston High School diploma in the right hand and an associate's degree from SUNY Ulster in the left hand. And that, that's, that's a real thing that people are talking about. They think it's, it's a positive move for our kids, and they think that's something we can do. We already offer so many SUNY Ulster courses in our high school as this. What we haven't done is to create that crosswalk and that sequence of classes that lead to a, an associate's degree or certificate program. And that's what uh, President Cott and I are going to do. And we have now we have our students looking out the window, seeing college, knowing that they can access college, knowing that the college staff and our <coughs> faculty and staff can collaborate and cooperate and talk. One of the things I always say is when we want to get good ideas, we just take all the crazy people, put them in a room, and they'll come out with the great ideas. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to take all Don's crazy people and all my crazy people. We'll put them in the room. We'll come out with great ideas. So we're very excited. We're very appreciative that, uh, that President Cott and the county executive have brought, this, brought us all to the table here for this. And it's, it's, it's an exciting opportunity. And I think it, it's a huge change for the city of Kingston. It's a great move for our students. And I think that the entire county benefits from this. Uh, they'll talk a lot about dollars and cents. I'm just thinking, I'm selfish. I'm just thinking about what it's going to do for the kids at Kingston City School District, and, and I'm excited about it. So thank you again for coming, and I will turn it back over to the county executive.